if you've got a Shopify account and you're trying to figure out how to link your domain name from Namecheap to your Shopify account, don't worry, we're going to cover that in this video. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to get going here is an active Shopify account and you'll also need a Namecheap domain. Um, there's a link in the video description to Namecheap if you guys aren't set up with it yet, but you can just click on that link, which is an affiliate link, to get started right away. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to our Shopify account. And here on the left, you see a menu. And at the very bottom left of this screen, we're going to click on Settings. And when we click on Settings, we see another menu to the left here. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the Domains link. So let's see, right here under apps, we're gonna click on domains. And right here you see we have the option to buy a new domain or to customize or connect an existing domain. So we're gonna click on the connect an existing domain button here. And as you see, it's gonna give us the option to enter our domain name here. Now if I go to my Namecheap account, which I'm also already logged into, um, here's my domain here, festalocal.com. So essentially what I want to do is link this domain and then pretty much set up the DNS um, settings. So in here, in this field, we're going to type in festalocal.com. For you, that's going to be the name of your domain. And then we're going to click on Next. And when we do that, it's going to ask us to set up our DNS settings. So we can do this one of two ways. We basically can either follow the instructions that they provide to us down below here if you click on follow settings. But what I'm gonna do, which is much simpler and is something awesome that Namecheap has set up, they have set up for us templates that we can use to link Shopify to Namecheap very easily. So the very first thing we wanna do here is come back to Namecheap and we just want to make sure we check for this uh, section here called name servers. We want to make sure that this is set to name cheap basic DNS. So that way we can get access to the advanced DNS settings. So we're going to scroll back up to the top and click on advanced DNS settings. And here what we see is we have the option to select a DNS template. So let's select that. Let's click on choose DNS template. And here, as you guys see, we have the Shopify option. So let's click on that. And when we click on that, in order to save our changes, we need to make sure we click the green check mark. So let's click that green check mark. It's going to ask us to confirm our choice. So we'll click the button to continue. And as you guys can see, if I scroll down here, within this table, our DNS table, it's automatically set up an A record and a C name record for us. Basically, the A record is an IP address, which is the address to our current website where we're basically pointing this domain name to. And this is exactly going to point to Shopify servers. The C name record is the name of the Shopify domain. And this is basically how behind the scenes Shopify links um, its website servers to your domain name. So it looks like this is already set up here. Let's go back to our Shopify and continue to process. So here in Shopify, what we want to do is we want to be able to verify this connection. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to click on verify connection. Let's see if that works. Um, sometimes it requires a couple of hours to set that up. So after clicking on this, it looks like it's added already, guys, um, the Shopify domain name here or our domain name, which is festalocal.com. So let's test this out. I'm going to go to my browser, open up a new tab and type here festalocal.com. And upon loading this, we already have our website set up. So everything is looking good. And that's pretty much how you set up um, everything um, between Shopify and Namecheap servers. Um, but guys, make sure that you like this video if you found this helpful. Subscribe to this channel because we upload many different videos on configurations, coding, uh, computer programming, other topics. As I said before, in the description of this video, you'll find a link to Namecheap to, for you to guys to go ahead and get started right away. Thank you for watching and happy coding and happy configuring.